When you download photos or documents from websites, do you know where they're going? Do you get frustrated with having to move things from the downloads folder to where they're supposed to be on your computer where you've created your folders? Most people don't know that there's a way to fix that. I'll show you how to change your download settings in Firefox today on Tuesday Tech Training. Hello and welcome to today's Tuesday Tech Training. My name is Jennifer Stewart. I'm the owner of Gateway Productivity and I'm a tech and productivity trainer. Today, I'll show you how to change your download settings in Firefox. Now, some people don't know what this is or why it's important, so we'll go over that first. When you're on websites, such as possibly your email or a program where someone shared their photo or video with you, you need to download something. And that means taking something from the internet and putting it on your computer. When you need to do that, most web browsers are set to go to your downloads folder. And a lot of people don't even know where that is on their computer. So I'll be showing you that as well. If you're someone who doesn't typically put things in folders on your computer, then you may just need to know where that downloads folder is. And that's great. But if you're someone who does use folders and likes to organize things on your computer, it may be frustrating for things to go straight into the downloads folder, and then you have to move them into your own folder structure. So I'll show you how to make the change in Firefox so that it asks you where to download each time. This saves you the time and hassle of going to the downloads folder every time you download something and then moving it to another location. First, I'll show you what the downloading process probably looks like for you now with Firefox. Then I'll show you how to make the change in Firefox options. And then I'll show you what it looks like after you've made the change. First, we'll jump into what the downloading process currently looks like and where that downloads folder is on your computer. For this demonstration, we're using the Firefox web browser. That's what you're looking at now. I am in Google Drive on the web browser. It doesn't really matter where you're coming from to do the download process. This is just what I chose to do. First, we'll choose something to download. In this case, I'll do this image right here. And with Firefox, it will give you this little pop-up. And it may not happen for you anymore. If you've done a lot of downloading on Firefox, you may not get this message. But if this is one of the first times you have downloaded, it may give you this little message. You can choose to either open the item or save it, which is most likely what we're wanting to do here. And then if you don't want it to ask you this piece every time, you can check this box that says do this automatically for files like this from now on. We'll click OK. And you can see it automatically here. Let me move my picture. You can see it automatically put it in our downloads. And here is the indication that there are downloads that have happened. And that's the symbol for downloads in case you weren't aware of that. Here we can click on the folder and it takes us directly to the downloads folder. But a lot of people don't know where that lives on their computer. So let's look at that next. To see where your downloads are going, let's look at the File Explorer on a PC or Finder on a Mac. And here it should be on the bottom bar. If it's not, you can also click on the Start button and go to it right here. And this will pop up. And here on the left hand side is the easiest way to navigate and you'll see downloads. It may also be in your quick access area up here. And for those on a Mac who are using Finder, again, the downloads should be on that left hand bar for you. We go here and we can see here is the image that I downloaded. As I said at the beginning, if you're someone who's not really using a folder structure, this might be all you needed. You needed to know where that download was. For those who want to then file this somewhere, it's very frustrating to come in here, pull it and take it somewhere else. So let's look at changing that setting in Firefox. To change our download setting in Firefox, we'll go up here to the three lines, click on that, and then you're gonna go about midway down to where it says options. They use the word options instead of settings, but it's really the same thing. We will click on that. It'll open a new tab for you up here. So you still have your original location and it opens this here. And we're going to scroll down a little bit and it's not too far. You'll see this files and applications section and downloads is the first thing. You can see it's set to save files to downloads. You can choose to browse and have it save automatically to another location. 
But if you're someone who's using a folder structure, you probably want to choose always ask where to save files. Then you can designate for each item where it's going to go. And next we'll look at how this changes the downloading process. Now let's try doing a download with that new setting. I'll use the same picture and the same process to download. When I click on that, it still gives me this option because I did not check this box that says do this automatically, but it did remember that I want to save the file. So I'll click on OK. And now it takes me directly to the option of where to save the file. This is the piece that was missing before. And this is where you can then go to your file structure and find exactly where you want to put it. In this case, I use my documents and I'm going to drop it directly in there. Before making this download settings change in Firefox, you just wanna think about how do you organize things on your computer? If you're someone who uses the search all the time, then maybe you don't even need to make this change because it would be frustrating for you to have to choose each time it asks you where do you want to save the document. But if you're someone who has a folder structure on your computer and you would like to choose where to put things when you want to download, this is the perfect option for you. Knowing that in advance can save you a lot of heartache if you turn on the setting and then you're frustrated every time you have to make that decision. Have you had a light bulb moment from this training? If so, please let me know in the comments below. And also you can put questions down there and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. You can also give the video a thumbs up or you could share it with someone who you think could benefit from the information. And be sure to subscribe by clicking the red button below. When you do, you will see a bell icon. If you click on that, you will receive notifications each week when new videos are posted. Thanks for joining me and I'll see you next time.